Like any good developer, I spend a fuck ton of time procrastinating on Stack Overflow, trying to solve other programming problems, rather than focusing on my own. There's a question I see crop up quite often from people who are interested in getting into game development. It goes something like this. I have this game idea I want to make, but I don't know how to program. What's a game engine where I don't have to do any programming? The answer to this is simple, none of them. Okay, maybe the answer is a bit more complex than that, but no matter what game engine you use, you will have to program. I won't bore you with lengthy definitions. Putting it in fewest words, programming equals make computer do thing. It should go without saying, but when you're programming a video game, you're making the computer do multiple thing. Now, I'm not making this video to flex my masterful understanding of semantics. I actually think it's a good question, but it's one that largely goes unanswered. There's two big reasons for this. First off, like any good Stack Overflow moderator, questions like this quickly get locked as off-topic because Stack Overflow is for super serious programmers with super serious programming problems, not for dirty noobs. I have some issues with Stack Overflow's culture, but that's a hill I'll have to die on in a different video. Secondly, a lot of the most basic fundamentals become second nature to the programmers who make tutorials. To them, talking about issues like this would be like making a tutorial on how to breathe. What kind of retard would make a tutorial on how to breathe? Me. That's who. So let's answer this question. The first thing we need to do is understand what this question is really asking. I read it like this. Programming seems really intimidating and complex. What are some easy game engines? Now, it's true. Programming does seem intimidating, even incomprehensible, but so does reading Chinese to someone who only speaks English. Programming languages are just that, languages. Any language looks like an impossible code to someone who doesn't know it yet. In reality, programming isn't a tenth as difficult as non-programmers have convinced themselves, and it's infinitely easier than learning Chinese. We'll come back to this, but first, we have to address the actual question. What are some easy to use game engines? Short answer, none of them. Nothing worth doing is easy. Long answer, many try and almost all of them fail. All with an asterisk here. Let's address that first. There are some learn how to program engines aimed at children. And while they are engines from a literal standpoint, in a practical sense, they are not. They will help you learn programming, but they won't help you make your game without programming. In fact, they directly undermine this goal. They literally exist to teach you how to program. These are actually a great starting point for beginners, but they are teaching tools. You won't be able to develop your game, let alone release it anywhere. That said, if you don't know any programming yet, you won't be making your game until you learn some basics anyway. So even though they're marketed towards children, these engines are actually worth playing with. But that doesn't answer our question. The question is what is an easy engine to develop your game in? This brings us to the RPG Maker in the room. I would generally advise against ever using RPG Maker for any reason not even making a Final Fantasy VI clone, which is about all it's good for. It does use some very basic scripting and variables, but you'll learn a lot more with the Code for Kids apps. Ironically, you can expand on RPG Maker with Ruby scripting, but ultimately, RPG Maker is closer to a game than a game engine. Of course, this doesn't stop a veritable flood of RPG Maker shovelware making it to app stores and Steam alike. Now, before I trigger a legion of anime profile pictures, I will say this. I'm sure a very small handful of people have made some very impressive stories with this toy. And just like a stop motion video of your action figures, no one will ever see those stories. 
If you are playing with RPG Maker, like the toy that it is, that's great. You'll definitely learn a bit. But if your game isn't an FF6 clone, you won't be able to make your game at all. If you take it that step further and learn Ruby, all of a sudden, you're wasting your time and talent on RPG Maker. The only reason I'm even mentioning it is that all too often I see it recommended to beginners. It's not a good option. So if that's not a good option, where do we go next? This brings us to a new wave of quote unquote easy game making engines. These are rarely free and marketed directly at the people asking the question in this video's title. BuildBox and GameMaker Studio have risen to the top of this expanding market, and they serve as great examples of the two main types of quote-unquote easy game engines. They both share some crucial flaws, and each have some unique flaws of their own. Now, I'm not saying either of these are bad engines. They both have the absolute most important feature any game engine can have cross-platform deployment. And unlike the past examples, you can make and release games using them. Hotline Miami was made in Game Maker, and a shit ton of ad farming mobile games were made in BuildBox. So if that's the case, what's my problem with these engines? Mainly the claim that they're easy, or beginner engines, is demonstrably wrong. Let me explain. I'll start with BuildBox. Remember earlier how I compared programming language to learning Chinese? Well, with BuildBox, you're in luck because it uses what's called visual scripting. What is visual scripting? Imagine programming, but instead of typing code, you just drop features into a window and connect them with wires. If you want to make a decent game, you'll still have to understand some programming design and concepts, and the design side of software is where the real difficulty exists. But at least you won't have to deal with that pesky machine code which gives you absolute control over your game. Essentially, BuildBox is great until you want to do something the developers haven't already made a visual script component for. The second this happens, your idea is dead in the water. Unreal Engine, made by renowned spyware distributors Epic Games, also uses visual scripting, but it uses this in addition to C++. It still has the programming language there, the visual scripts are just an option. But don't think for a second that learning BuildBox will teach you how to make Fortnite. Visual scripts are entirely proprietary. Besides the basic concept of linking nodes, there won't be any transferable skills. Lots of programs outside of game engines use visual scripts, such as Blender, the 3D modeling program. You set up your shaders using a similar system, but being able to use these components in Blender doesn't teach you how they'll work in Unreal Engine or BuildBox. Speaking of not having any transferable skills, that brings us to our next example, Game Maker. Now, unlike BuildBox, Game Maker Studio lets you, well, it lets you code in Game Maker Lane. You see the problem here? You wanted to make games without coding. With Game Maker, not only do you have to learn how to code, you have to learn a proprietary language that can only be used with Game Maker. In addition to this, with a relatively small community, good luck finding tutorials or answers when you run into a problem or want to do anything really complicated. Game Maker is often recommended as the beginner software, likely because it's an all-in-one package. It even has tools to build your own visual assets built in. It's also worth noting, Game Maker language is not a complete language. It does not have all of the features of a real programming language. It can only do what the developers of Game Maker have decided to let it do. It's only easier than the imagined difficulty of the other options. That brings us to a third bad option, another beginner engine called Construct. Now, with Construct, you use HTML5, JavaScript, and Visual Scripting. Awesome! Instead of not learning any programming languages, now you can learn two and a half for the low price of $12 a month. I'll give it credit for being the only full engine out of my three examples. It does use real languages, but 
that's about it. All three of these examples and their ilk have a vested interest in pushing the narrative that programming hard and our way easy. As I have said, this is demonstrably false. At best, these easy engines are equally as hard as program, if not harder. At best, these are fun, approachable ways to learn program, not to develop an actual game. I'll give it credit for being the only full engine out of the three. It does use real languages, but that's about all it has going for it. In my opinion, all of these engines are capitalizing on the coding hard myth to exploit beginners for monthly subscriptions. None of them have substantial communities to help with tutorials or questions. Since Construct is the only complete engine in these examples, I'm gonna be a bit harder on it than the others. Let's look at its sales pit. I mean, let's look at its Why Construct page. Learn programming principles. We'll come back to this. Extendable with JavaScript. This is actually a good thing, but guess what? At this point, you guessed it. You're learning how to program. And I wouldn't say JavaScript is the best language to learn to develop games with. JavaScript is a web language that just so happens can also make games. But they wouldn't be a good go-to for the vast majority of games. They're mostly limited to simple mobile games and web games. No installation required. Not to be an elitist here, but if you aren't prepared for, as they call it, the pain of installing software and updates, you aren't prepared for developing, let alone debugging software. Runs on and exports to multiple platforms. Well, this is where I'm gonna tie it back to that line about learning programming principles. Do you know what else does all of these things and more and doesn't cost a red fucking cent? Unity Engine. Unity Engine uses a language called C Sharp. It also gives you the option of using JavaScript if you're an idiot. I think they're also adding visual scripting too. C Sharp is quite possibly the easiest and most straightforward programming language that currently exists on our planet. Python developers will say that Python is the easiest, but no one takes Python developers seriously. Do not listen to their lies. You see, you have to understand something. Programmers are inherently lazy and unmotivated creatures. If any of these other engines I had named were actually easier, we would all be using them. Over the years, programmers have developed languages and tools to be easier and easier to use and require less and less actual coding. Unity is a gigantic fucking monument to this principle. Work smart, not hard. Do you want to do as little coding as possible? Unity adds more and more features every year to reduce the amount of coding required and instead lets you do things in editor. Do you want to learn how to make your game? Unity has a massive community constantly pumping out tutorials. You don't just learn proprietary systems either. You learn a real, transferable programming language to go with it. Yeah, Game Maker, Build Box, and Construct will teach you the coding principles, but so will Unity tutorials. These easy alternatives are often far more convoluted than just doing normal programming. And in addition to that, they lack the tutorial community to even help you learn their arbitrary systems. Sure, Game Maker has a built-in asset creator, but Unity's built-in asset animation tools beyond make up for what amounts to MS Paint, but with transparent backgrounds. C Sharp is a beautiful, and I dare say perfect language. It's also far more of an industry standard than JavaScript, as Construct will claim. And game development encompasses a lot more than just coding anyway. Ultimately, you cannot make a game without programming. It's impossible by definition. Programming is telling computer to do thing. Games are things computers do. And it's way easier than you think. The only reason why you're so intimidated by programming is because you've grown up in a culture where that's been the narrative, where programming's this advanced calculus math nerd thing. To 
and sure, it's a nerd thing, but I'm a retard and I have no problem with it. But that said, some people's minds aren't cut out for it. Some people just don't think that way. But here's the rub. If you can't program in C Sharp, you're not going to be making very good software in BuildBox either. At best, you'll just be producing yet more ad farming shovelware on Android. If you want to get started making games, learn Unity. It's popular for a reason. Programming is easier today than it has ever been. Do not be fooled by profiteers with a vested interest in telling you that it's not. They will only hold you back with easy solutions that are actually harder. 